In Matthew 19 verse 13 to 15, we see a touching moment in the life of Jesus. Parents brought their little children to him so that he might lay his hands on them and pray. However, the disciples rebuked them not understanding how significant it was to bring children to Jesus. Yet Jesus in his love and wisdom responded by saying, Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. This passage carries a powerful message for us today. We live in a world that often overlooks the spiritual growth of children, focusing instead on worldly success and achievements. But the Word of God reminds us of the eternal importance of bringing children to Jesus from a young age. In this message, we will explore why it is essential to prioritize our children's spiritual journey and how doing so secures not only their future, but also the future of God's kingdom. The parents in Matthew 19 brought their children to Jesus so he could lay his hands on them and pray. They understood that God's touch is life-changing. Similarly, it is our responsibility to do everything possible to bring our children into God's presence through prayer, teaching, and example. The world will try to pull our children in different directions, toward worldly values, material success, and fleeting pleasures. If we do not actively bring our children to Christ, the world will lead them away from Him. Our society, educational systems, and social circles often omit God from their teachings. And as parents, we must counterbalance that by teaching our children the ways of the Lord. Jesus said, Let the little children come to me, because he knows that the earlier a child is taught to work with God, the more solid their foundation will be. Some might think children are too young to understand faith or the things of God, but Jesus refused this thinking. He welcomed the little ones, declaring that the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. In 2 Timothy 3 verse 14 to 15, Paul speaks to Timothy about how from childhood he was taught the holy scriptures, which made him wise unto salvation. This shows us that the seeds of faith can be planted and nurtured even from a young age. Proverbs 22 verse 6 reinforces this truth. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. The habits, values, and spiritual foundations we instill in our children will shape the rest of their lives. If we allow the world to dictate what they learn, they may grow up lacking a relationship with God. If we bring them to Jesus, they will grow strong in spirit and filled with wisdom just like Jesus as a child. Luke 2 verse 40 As parents and guardians, we have a divine responsibility. Joshua set the example for all believers when he declared, As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. Joshua 24 verse 15 This wasn't just a statement of personal commitment. It was a declaration that his family, including his children, would walk in God's ways. God also spoke of Abraham in Genesis 18 verse 19, saying, For I have chosen him so that he will direct his children and his household after him to keep the ways of the Lord by doing what is right and just. God's covenant promise to Abraham was connected to Abraham's responsibility to guide his children in righteousness. This shows us that God values the role of parents in raising their children in His ways. We must be diligent to guide, protect, and pray for our children, ensuring that they grow up with a solid understanding of who God is and what He desires for their lives. We cannot afford to be passive when it comes to the spiritual well-being of our children. If we neglect to bring them to Jesus, we leave them vulnerable to the influences of the world. In Deuteronomy 6 verse 6 to 7, God commands the Israelites to diligently teach His commandments to their children. 
Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. The consequences of neglecting this responsibility are dire. If we do not train our children in the ways of God, they will be shaped by the culture around them which often does not reflect the values of God's kingdom. We see the result of this neglect in our society today. Children growing up without a moral compass, easily swayed by the winds of popular opinion. But when we bring our children to Christ, we will shape them into responsible God-fearing adults who are a light in this dark world. In Jeremiah 1 verse 5, God says, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. Every child has a God-given purpose. Just as John the Baptist was destined for greatness and filled with the Holy Spirit even before his birth, Luke 1 verse 15, God has a divine plan for every child. Our role as parents is to help our children discover and walk in that purpose. Like Samuel, who heard the voice of God from a young age, 1 Samuel 3 verse 10. Our children can grow to recognize and respond to God's voice if we bring them into his presence. The Lord's hand is upon them and his desire is to fill them with his Holy Spirit guiding them as they grow into the men and women he created them to be. Bringing our children to Christ is not just a one-time act. It is a lifelong commitment. It requires prayer, teaching, and living as godly examples. We must protect our children from the negative influences of the world and ensure that they are raised in the knowledge and fear of the Lord. As Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of heaven. Let us commit ourselves to bringing our children into the presence of Jesus, praying over them and teaching them his ways. By doing so, we are not only securing their future, but also helping to build a godly generation that will carry forward the kingdom of God. Healthy children make healthy societies and godly children make a godly society. Let the little children come to Jesus, for in their hands lies the future of God's kingdom. Heavenly Father, we come before you with grateful hearts, thanking you for the precious gift of children. You have shown us today the importance of bringing them into your presence, of praying for them and of guiding them in your ways. We ask, O oh Lord, that you would help us as parents, guardians, and mentors to be faithful in leading the little ones to Christ. May your hand be upon our children, just as Jesus laid his hands on the little ones and blessed them. Protect them from the influences of this world that will draw them away from you. Fill them with your wisdom, strength, and grace that they may grow in spirit and walk in your truth all the days of their lives. Help us to be diligent in teaching them your word, to model godliness in our own lives, and to pray continually for their growth in faith. Let your Holy Spirit fill their hearts, guiding them to fulfill the purposes you have for each of them. Lord, we dedicate every child into your loving care, trusting that you will guard their steps and lead them into a future filled with hope and blessing. We believe that through them, your kingdom will flourish and your light will shine in this dark world. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.